Welcome back to my 7 day cruise with Norwegian Epic in the Caribbean part 2. In this video, I'll be showing you all of the beautiful islands we visited and which excursions we did during our short time there. If you missed my tour of the Haven, our suite, the ship, and its amenities, check out part 1. I'd like to thank you for stopping by my channel and if you find my video helpful, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Now without further ado, let's get started. You guys, we've just arrived in beautiful Aruba and we are headed to the city center right now. Cannot wait to explore this island. As soon as you set foot in Aruba, you are greeted with stalls of local merchants and artisans. The strip alongside the port is perfect because it's lined with malls, restaurants, and shops. We took this opportunity to buy water shoes. Trust me, if you're visiting the Caribbean, you definitely need some water shoes. So glad we took this opportunity to buy some because we were about to embark on an epic, rocky Aruban adventure. Hello! <laughs> perfect. Before opting to take a cruise excursion, I did some research to see if there were any tour operators providing better tours of the island, and surely we ended up with ABC Tours Aruba. They were so friendly and knowledgeable, and a cruise excursion would have definitely not been the same experience. It's up to you which way you choose to go, but we wanted to make the best out of our time for the six hours we were there. Okay, you guys, so we are about to go on a private UTV tour. In Aruba, we are going to drive all the way to the ocean cliffs and we're going to do some cliff diving, so that should be fun. One of the coolest things about Aruba is that it is an arid island. I had no idea that islands could have a dry climate. I thought all islands were tropical. So it was so cool to see cacti almost everywhere we went. Okay you guys, so we are on Blackstone Beach here. Our first stop was Blackstone Beach. This beach is the only beach in Aruba boasting black sand. It's also located close to three newly forming natural bridges in Arakok National Park. So beautiful. Wow. So you guys, these two holes in the ground here, they call them the eyes of God. ATV riding through Aruba is an incredible experience. You get to ride through the most scenic landscapes. From rocky hills to endless shorelines, Aruba is filled with so much beauty. Our second stop was to do some awesome cliff jumping from one of Aruba's hidden gems, the Boca Cave Natural Pool. This is not for the faint of heart. This natural pool is tucked under the cliffs, so you'll need to climb down a ladder to get there. This is where our water shoes came in handy. The cliffs are sharp, so you'll need water shoes to walk in before you jump in. Got done with the natural pool. Our next stop was the Bushiribana Gold Mill Ruins. This abandoned gold mill once processed ore from mines in the nearby hills during Aruba's gold rush of the 19th century. After the gold mill, we stopped by the famous California Lighthouse and the Three Steps Beach before returning to port. These locations are not covered in this video as I've decided to show highlights. Do let me know if you have any questions. But I'd say our day in Aruba was a success. Hey you guys, so yesterday the captain announced unfortunately that we will not be going to Granada because Granada was setting up some rules regarding the new Omicron COVID 
um, strand that they needed everyone to get tested before um, disembarking the ship. Anyway, I guess it didn't work out. So we are having a day at sea and we are about to have a pool day. Let's go. You had uh, your turn? Yes. Uh, to perform now. <laughs> hey, 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 hey. Good morning! Bye. Good morning! In Curaçao, we decided on a cruise excursion. We did the Hato Caves and City Center tour. Let's go! The Hato Caves are marine coral limestone caves which accumulated over millions of years. After sea levels dropped, they were exposed to atmospheric corrosion. These caves were used by the Arawak Indians 1500 years ago and were also used as shelter by runaway slaves. After the Ato Caves, we took a stroll through the capital of Curaçao, Willemstead. Willemstead is known for its old town center with pastel-colored colonial architecture. The city was so charming during our morning stroll, we also passed by what was once the floating market. Willemstad is also known for the Queen Emma floating bridge. We were lucky enough to see the bridge open. It's unlike any other bridge. It slides off to the other side. From this angle, you can really see the Dutch influence on this Afro-Caribbean island. Our time in Curaçao was short and sweet, however we loved how charming the city was. I have to get back to the ship because I have a massage and facial scheduled for the evening. Let's go! Welcome to St. Lucia, also known as the Helen of the West because of its abundant beauty. This island was my favorite on this trip. Let me show you how beautiful it is. Wow! So right now, we are overlooking the town of Castries. And right behind the town of Castries, you can see the Piton, the Gros Piton and the Petit Piton. They just look magnificent. Before hopping on our catamaran to sail by the Piton, we stopped by a cacao farm to see how chocolate and other products are made and had a delicious St. Lucian lunch there. Hey, please try this. You will not get this anywhere but here. Wow, that looks amazing. Mm. Even though you don't like coconut, you're gonna enjoy this. Yep. Mm. Mm. All right guys, so here we have some coconut candy made by this lovely lady. Yeah, this is the coconut candy, brown sugar, cinnamon, nutmeg, spice, bay leaf, vanilla essence, and you put your Wow. With the caramel. Wow. Yeah. Smells amazing. Yeah, very amazing. Thank you so much for making this for us. You're you have a wonderful day. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. 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 Okay, everyone. So we just got to Terrell Waterfall. This is a 60 foot waterfall up in the hills of St. Lucia. Everyone is having fun, enjoying.
It's time to sail. Happy birthday, baby! 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 Wow, there is nothing like seeing these volcanic rock formations plunging out of the Caribbean Sea. Aren't they gorgeous? Before ending our sail, we stopped by a secluded beach to take a dip. St. Lucia was simply magical. Welcome to St. Kitts. In St. Kitts, we decided to do the St. Kitts Scenic Railway Excursion. This guided train ride takes passengers on a three-hour tour that makes a 30-mile circle around the beautiful Eastern Caribbean island. During the ride, you get to enjoy complimentary alcoholic and non-alcoholic beverages and enjoy endless views of the crystal blue water and lush islandscape. We were in for a surprise when some masquerade dancers fascinated us with their rhythmic dances, colorful costumes, and crowns with long feathers. What an authentic and beautiful experience. One of the things that struck me the most about the people of St. Kitts is that they are super friendly. Anyone we came across was waving. They would wave from a mile away. Overall, we spent a short time in St. Kitts, but we got to see its most beautiful views and learn about its people and culture, all while relaxing on our last day. And we are back home in Puerto Rico. It is so good to be back. I hope you guys enjoyed my content and I hope you got a lot out of it. I hope you like my tips and my travels and I will see you next time. Please don't forget to like my video and subscribe. Hit that notification button for new video alerts. My next video will be on top 10 tips for your next cruise. Thanks for watching and see you soon. Mwah.